One of the things that um, I, I never really got a full grasp of is just how many game shows you've been on. We have talked Double Dare a lot over the years mm -hmm. because, quite frankly, I was obsessed. Kind of still am. But uh, it seems like I'll be watching the Game Show Network or something, an old episode of something will pop up, and there you are. Yeah. Hollywood Squares, Scrabble. Uh, 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 another one I'm forgetting. Win, lose, or draw Win, lose, pops draw. up. Uh, yeah. Password. You've been on, like, everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, back in the day. What are some of your favorites that you, you've been on? Um, I think the best game show, uh, Pyramid. Do you ever watch? Uh, I watch Pyramid, I, yeah. I, I love that show. One. And Great when show. I was on, I was on with Rachel Ray. It was Food Network Week, and I bombed. She beat me every <laughs> game. It was so upsetting. Because she got there, she said, well, I don't watch the show much, and I'm not sure how it works. And she beat me, you know, hands down every time. Um, and they're always a little nerve-wracking to do because you're trying to win money for other humans. Yeah. And you don't want to screw that up. So I always feel the pressure. <laughs> but you did. I, oh, many times. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and on Hollywood Squares, I was great at lying. I'd say, you know, trust me, here's the answer. And then the people would do it, and, and they were wrong. And I'd get off stage, and my wife would say, why do you do that? I said, because that's how the game works. That's you're supposed to convince yeah. them. You're not supposed to just give it to them. No. We had John Davidson on our show. Great and, guy. Uh, we, did a, we did a pandemic uh, Hollywood Squares <laughs> oh, version. Did you? Really? It was so much fun, and he, he played right into our little little game. He was he I think he was perplexed as to why we were doing it, but he was on board. <laughs> I've known John okay. for forty years. He's always perplexed, but um, <laughs> he has a place called Club Sandwich yes, now. Yes, he does. And, in New and Hampshire. He, yeah, in New Hampshire, and he sings there sometimes, and he has other people there as well. And uh, good guy. Yeah, he's he's been around for a while. He really is. Um, one of the other shows that you guest co-hosted is uh, Where in the World Is Carmen San Diego. Now, show. remember that I show? I love oh my that God. show. Oh my God. Such a great show. Yeah. And the theme song, so iconic by Rockapella. Mm -hmm. um, but I heard a rumor. I, didn't, I meant to ask you about this before we came on, because yeah. this could fall very flat. I heard a rumor that the show that you guest co-hosted never made it to air because a kid broke his arm on the show. No, you, you've got one show connected to another show that has nothing to do with each other. Okay. The show that I did with Greg Lee absolutely aired. Right. And, and the broken arm story is... Uh, we would have kids uh, and their parents sign off these releases, mm -hmm. and one of the questions was always, do you have any broken bones? And, and they would say, no. Well, this one kid had something called glass bones disease. Oh. So oh, he no. was at obstacle number Dangerous. one. Uh, yes, yeah. and got handed the flag, he slipped, and his bone came right out of his skin. Okay? And uh, I left the stage. Uh, Robin did, was really good. You I didn't couldn't, air this? I, I, no, no, <laughs> he didn't air this, no. Uh, and, and because we found out that his parents had lied on the release, and uh, it was the only obstacle course that was never completed and the only show that never aired of Double Dare. Are his parents wow. still doing time? I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a glass factory. But, 